Hello there. This is Tim from Oracle Base. Com. What was that? Let's try that again in English. This is Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we're going to look at how to implement auto number or identity functionality in Oracle databases prior to release 12C. We're also going to look at the new features in 12C that make this a lot easier. Prior to Oracle 12C, Oracle databases had no built-in functionality to support identity columns or auto number columns. Instead, we had to use triggers to mimic that functionality. Let's take a look at an example of that now. First, we create a table with an ID column that we want to treat as an identity column. We also create a sequence to populate that column. Next, we create a trigger that fires before insert for each row. Inside the trigger we use the sequence to assign the value for the ID column. This line allows us to manually set the value of the column. If you want to force the use of the sequence, remove it. With the trigger in place, we can now insert some data. We insert two rows where we rely on the trigger to populate the ID column, and then one row where we populate it manually. If we look at the data, we can see the auto number and the manual override have worked as expected. In Oracle 12C, we can now reference a sequence as a default value for a column. We insert three rows into this table, two using the default value and one where we override it. The results show this has worked as expected. Oracle 12C also allows us to define an explicit identity column. This also uses a sequence, but it hides the management of that sequence from us. In this case, we've used generated always as identity, so we're not allowed to manually override the value of the identity column. We can now insert rows without making reference to the identity column. If we try to manually override the ID column value, we get an error. If we need to override the identity value, we can switch from generated always to generated by default we can now successfully override the identity value. Attempting to insert a null value into the identity column gives us an error. We can solve this by switching to generated by default on null as identity. We can now insert rows without specifying the identity column by specifying an explicit null value so the identity value is used instead or by manually overriding the value. Querying the table confirms this has worked as we expected. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.